Hey, it's Dr. Karen. Welcome to this week's Spiritual Medicine Digest. And it'd be really great if I was actually in this area, but I'm not. I'm actually in an Airbnb in Canada, close to my folks, as my dad just got released from the hospital from what they thought was going to be a fatal event. But he survived and is doing relatively well. So for that, I'm very, very grateful. So many people, thousands of people have been praying and sending beautiful energy and healing on Facebook, the Light Medicine community, um, dream weaving them everywhere. Like it's just been so amazing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now. We do have an interesting topic for this week, and that is stabilizing the energetic geometry of the earth. But before I go into that, would love for you, if you are new, to actually subscribe to my channel, perhaps hit the notification bell so every time I do a new video, you'll be notified. And feel free to comment, especially since we're going to be doing a Topican healing activation today. Okay, so on to our topic for this week. So the other day, and I'm in Canada, so the other day I'm walking around, suddenly I get this kind of weird pain in my right knee around the area of the patellar tendon. Uh, so that's just right underneath the kneecap. And I knew there wasn't anything that I ate that was really funky or um, did slip and fall or do anything like that. So I knew it was, probably wasn't my stuff. And sensitive souls sometimes have to deal with it, especially if you have very high spiritual responsibility levels. Um, and sometimes you have to figure out what's going on. In this case, I had to, I had to create a new um, positive morphic field for healing for Mother Earth. But how did I find that out? Well, there is a cheat sheet that I use. I call it the non-self healing cheat sheet. And by the way, I did publish this for free in my light medicine community. So I'm going to link that below. So if you're not a member of the light medicine community, you can get a free membership and you can grab that cheat sheet and you can print it out if you want. So I have, I have mine written out and every day I do healing on all these others <laughs> and they include, I'm not going to go through the whole list, but they include um, all of humanity, light being star seeds, earth angels, mother earth, solar system, galaxy universe, and infinity universe entities, blah, blah, blah. Okay. There's a big, huge pile. Now in this particular case, it was Mother Earth that needed specific healing, and I did actually need to know more detail. So using divine muscle testing, we can actually find out if there's something we need to know, or can we just directly do a Topican healing directive and just heal whatever it is, and we don't have to know the details. In this case, I did need to know the details so I could report it to you guys. <laughs> and what it was is that Mother Earth had destabilized uh, energetic geometry patterns. Now, at first I thought, oh, dimensional geometries, right? Like platonic solids. That I was, um, you know, uh, talking to Marcus Bird, my mentor, about in dimensional therapy, like tetrahedron, octahedron, icosahedron, dodecahedron, um, square or cube rather, um, tesseract sphere, etc. Well, it was the sphere, but it wasn't the dimensional ge geometry that needed stabilizing because we've done that in the past. It was actually the energetic geometries, and on further questioning. The geometries energetically are varied, like a spiral is an energetic geometry, according to source, uh, not literally dimensional, but dimensional geometry creates all of the geometry and energetic geometry can be of various types. Now, what you're probably most familiar with is the Fibonacci sequence and how many things in nature actually are formed the same way. And they come from the flower of life. So, for example, if you look at a conch or shell, right, or you look at the cochlea of the ear or a fern leaf, they all have exactly the same mathematical structure. And so that is an example of like the spiral, an example of an energetic geometry. Now, in this case, the first thing that came up was the sphere, the energetic geometry of the sphere of earth so we stabilized that and immediately like immediately my knee pain went away and then the next day there was another geometry that was destabilized so we stabilized that and so i decided to create what's called an automatic alignment activator which helps to um let's just say constantly do many healings if you will on whatever the target is in this case we were creating an automatic alignment activator to auto restabilize the energetic geometry of all of Mother Earth. 
And I thought, well, is that relevant to our bodies? Yes, we are part of the one. After all, Earth is an aspect or fractal of the whole, the one. So we might as well restabilize our own energetic anatomy. Now, I don't know if you had any funny symptoms this week that was uh, not explainable by usual standards of, you know, whatever may cause symptoms, but uh, I'd love to know. So you can definitely put that in the comments below as, long, as well as what you felt after the Topocan Healing Directive and the healing activation we're going to do right now. And then we're going to go to some exciting news after that. Now, if you're brand new to my channel, again, remember to hit subscribe. And we're going to go into something called stellum, stillness through observing internal movement. That's a way to go into the still point where we can actually deposit or seed the quantum with our healing intentions and let the universe, multiverse, source, team, you know, do the actual healing on our behalf. So the way I get into it is through the body. And it's amazingly consistent, the messages that I keep receiving, not just from Source directly, but also from many other healers and, and you know people that are really, really getting that message through that in order for us to make a change and shift, especially healing our physical bodies, we actually energetically have to be willing to be fully embodied and be present. And when Eckhart Tolle and others talk about, you know, the, the presence, I thought it was like a mind thing. It's not, it's a body thing, <laughs> right? So if you're like present, present, how do I be present? Is it my mind? Is it I have my conscious? Mm, feel the body. So that's my shortcut. And uh, let's do this together. So if you're brand new, you can go ahead and move the body, you know, just shake a little bit or rub your hands really, really fast. And then close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so. Relax, focus on where you just moved. Follow the feeling of wherever it goes. So focus, feel, and flow. And just notice where that vibration or that undulation of energy is traveling in your body. Perhaps it's just where you move, like your hands. Or in my case, for example, I could feel it going up my arms, onto my shoulders and neck area. And as I pay attention to the rest of my body, I can even feel it on the soles of my feet. So, of course, I'm very practiced at this, but tell me where you feel it when you do stillness through observing internal movement. If you'd like, you can open your eyes, if your eyes were closed, and just see if you can continue to feel that energy as we do our Topican healing activation together. So in this activation, what we're going to be doing is actually stabilizing your energetic geometry. So... You just have to make the attention to receive. Um, I'll speak the Topican directive. You can, of course, make your own, or you could just ask your source team to do it for you as well in the future. Or you can listen to this over again if you like to hear my voice. <laughs> so go ahead again, continue feeling the energy in the body. And I'll speak the Topican healing activations. I now command that your energetic geometry be completely restabilized and optimized and harmonized in the highest and best way, all directions of time and all timelines where you exist with ease, speed, and grace is now commanded that for your alternate timelines, soul destiny partners, alternate soul destiny partners, that we do the same healing for them to stabilize their energetic geometry with ease, speed, and grace. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hmm. Okay, so. Focus on how that feels in the body. Perhaps you noticed a shift. If you did, would love for you to write that in the comments below. And let's do some, um, some announcements. Okay, so Monday's Light Warrior Radio Show, I will have my colleague and friend and soul sister, Deepal Shah. Uh, she is an amazing medical intuitive and actually, actually has her own program teaching people how to be a medical intuitive. She's also a number one best-selling author. And we're going to be talking about intuition, and she's going to give some practical advice on, like, first of all, why are we not listening to our intuition, and then how we can start doing that. So she's actually going to give us some practical stuff as well. So I think you're really going to love this show. So tune in. I'll put the link below Monday at 12 noon. Uh, the other announcement is our Ascension 3 store is open for a few more days anyway. <laughs> it's We're open about one week out of eight or 12. Um, it's pretty much a one man show and it isn't me. It's 
Dear Taylor, our general manager and chief creative officer. She's doing lots of work with the rest of the team as well and support. And we have some new items to show you. So we have some Nepal bracelets. And uh, if you look at the names, you'll giggle a little bit because you're like, I know why Dr. Karen bought those ones because <laughs> of the name and the colors and the colors. So we have various different colors. I can't remember all the names, but I think some were interstellar or galactic, such and such, and aura gradient and really cool names. Anyway, so these are infused with the Ascension 3 formula. So that is Ascension 1, Ascension 2, Hidden Night Gem, Schumann Frequency, and the creation of the Flower of Life. So the Flower of Life frequency is in as well. Super helpful for me while I'm visiting family because I'm in a big city and I live in the country. Okay, so in the big city, what do we have in the big city? We have lots of EMF, a cell tower every quarter mile, and 5G. Yes, lots of 5G. I've not noticed. Seriously, I've not noticed at all. Um, I think uh, now, of course, I've got a lot of Ascension 3 jewelry on, right? Um, and I like to make triangles. So I like having, you know, something in the center and I've got jewelry on the here. And then, of course, I've got my little studs here as well, my earrings. Now, the other thing I want to share with you is um, the 13 chakra bracelet. Now, these are specially infused. Individual beads are infused with the frequencies to heal, harmonize and optimize and balance each of your 13 chakras and um, there is actually a chakra activation ceremony they're already activated you can connect deeper with your chakras by doing the ceremony with your bracelet so right before i left for canada i squeezed in time to make 20 stretch bracelets and there are a number left i'm not exactly sure right now what the number is but there's a number left of the single strand macrame versions of the 13 chakra bracelet and that comes with the free uh 13 chakra activation ceremony that's recorded and you can watch that at any time to connect deeper with your chakras along with connecting deeper with your 13 chakra bracelet and by the way the ascension three um there is a 21 day mini course if you will called the 21 day challenge where we teach you how to use it at higher levels to basically command the universe to create the reality you wish. So anything uh, between entities, uh, clearing curses, properties, I mean, all sorts of things that we teach you how to do using these powerful tools. So check that out. And uh, they're currently being launched one by one in the light medicine community, but we have a free YouTube playlist as well that you can just go to and just watch however many that you like. And they're absolutely free. And you feel free to share those as well. Now, the other announcement we have is that the Divine Design Training was a program that I created in 2020 as a response to the pandemic. At the time, um, I knew there was a lot that I could contribute to help people become healthier energetically and therefore physically. So I created this program out of a need. And when I was naming it, um, Source told me to name it Divine Design Training, which was kind of general and odd. And I thought, well, why don't, why am, why am I not naming it with the C, you know, like, it's kind of obvious what it helps with, but nope, divine design training. And now I realize why, because back then I didn't understand the whole censorship thing, right? So, <laughs> so source is very smart, of course, and said, call it divine design training. Now it's good, not good, good, not good. Well, it's all good. I think it's all good that the information is still relevant today <laughs> because there are quite a few people and I hear about it all the time suffering from long COVID symptoms, suffering from potential side effects from the uh, jibby jabby um, and uh, are concerned about toxic load, things like that. Well, we have some advanced Topican Healing Masterclasses to address those. We have addressed them in Divine Design Training originally, um, but that original program was you know, kind of meant for more general audiences that are brand new to light medicine. Whereas these Topican Healing Masterclasses I created four in the last few years to address very different aspects and they go like deep dive. So we're talking like Q&A with source, like you literally, fill, you know, your muscles has to fill out the blank, you know, where you were at. And a lot of this is not just about the physicality or even the energetics. It's about love, believe it or not. And um, really harmonizing your relationship energetically with whatever it is out there. You do not have to be upset, angry, whatever, right? So it's not just emotional, it's energetic. So there's a lot of nuance to it. So these four masterclasses 
that are normally reserved for Topican level one and level two trainees in our Light Warrior membership, Light Warrior Revolution membership. Okay, so they they are you know more complex protocols, fillable PDFs. Um, I mean, each of them were all worth hundreds of dollars each, especially the power that they they contain to actually help you self heal. I'm adding those into Divine Design Training and decided to roll back the prices from the 333 to the 222 and the 111, I think, is if, if you're paying it in two installments. Um, so you're going to get those four master classes uh, in addition to uh, d uh, Divine Muscle Testing Training, in addition to the original um, Divine Design Training program, which also includes quantum jumping classes. So that is basically how to. Um, basic, uh, well, it's not basic. Well, it is basic, but most people don't know about it. <laughs> How to jump from one reality to the desired reality. Okay. So there's great training on that. And just that alone is just huge, right? But I add that as a bonus as well. And uh, so I'm really looking forward to you diving into that if this material is relevant to you. So if you know anyone or yourself uh, having any other symptoms of long COVID or symptoms of, you know, side effects with the jibby jabby, or you're concerned about your loved ones that way, uh, these are the protocols to learn. And in fact, uh, one of our wonderful mentors, um, Topican Level 1 and 2 mentor, Holly Stewart, just mentioned to me the other day how she had a client um, or clients uh, that are actually down for the count because of uh, the C and they were supposed to be on vacation and they were in bed. And she did these protocols for them. And by the next day, they were up and at them out there enjoying their vacation. So that is pretty powerful stuff. If you've ever gone through those symptoms, you'll know this is not easy to go through. So very, very powerful. Love to have you join us. Um, and that uh, special is going to go on. That's 33% off uh, till the end of February. Yeah. So that's kind of like my birthday treat for you guys. <laughs> okay. Uh, last but not least. Light Warrior Training Camp. Okay. So I know I keep saying this every week, <laughs> that it's going to be launching soon. Well, there's a lot of tech involved. Uh, and, and we were doing our best to make it easier this year. So you would have a great idea of the enrollment plus the lodgings and food as a package, right? So we, we really tried to simplify it for you. It's a lot more work for us, <laughs> for, for us to be able to do that. Uh, but the, the team is working super hard, especially Tasha, <laughs> to get this done for you. And so that will launch sometime next week. Okay. <laughs> next week. And you'll be able to take care, uh, take advantage of the 60% um, off of the enrollment fee uh, so that you can um, get the super early bird pricing there. And there's, um, there's only a certain number of those guys. So if you are planning to come, please get that as soon as it launches. Because uh, once that's full, we're going to have to move to the next tier. Um, but I really, really, uh, really, really love, 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 love connecting with you guys in person, training in person, having fun, you know, waiting in the beautiful, lake clear, sacred vortex, um, doing a little kayaking, watching sunsets, maybe some s'mores, some singing. <laughs> uh, and that's in addition to all the other wonderful superpower uh, intensive camp stuff that we are doing. So. Remember, this is just once a year, July 14th and 19th, this year in 2024. So make sure you are there. Okay, so I'm, I think I got all the announcements. I can't actually see my notes because I'm on the laptop and I can't see stuff. Anyway, <laughs> so I think I got it all. And if not, I'll probably be re recording this. Um, <laughs> anyway, love you very, very much. Make sure that you hit subscribe and maybe a like if you like this video, uh, put in the comments what your, you know, results were uh, after doing the Topican Healing Activation, maybe some ahas that you had, and let me know if you're coming to camp. I'd love to know. All right, we'll see you next time. Much love and bye for now.